What I need you to do is set that gun down on the sidewalk. This body camera footage shows critical moments of what happened on a night Idaho Falls police officer Bart Whiting will never forget. To be honest with you, I was really kind of inside freaking out. It was around 1 a.m. on January 12th when the call came in that a suicidal man was on Shoup Avenue in downtown Idaho Falls. He was laying down on the ground and uh, with uh, a gun pointed to his head. My name's Bart. Whiting okay. arrived within 30 you seconds of the me. call and he quickly realized the man in his late twenties or me. early thirties needed help. And I will treat you with respect. So I started talking to him um, and then he sat up and uh, then the gun became really big. Eventually, 17 officers and deputies arrived to assist, but it was Whiting who built a rapport with the man and convinced him to put his gun down. I think it's imperative to say not only did he keep the guy from shooting himself, but he managed to keep the young man from pointing the weapon at us and, uh, you know, causing us to have to shoot him. We can do this very peacefully, all right? Set it down, there you go, bud. After the man was in protective custody, okay, Whiting took him to Ermac, then stayed with him four hours to show support. He's a retired uh, military, uh, talked about some PTSD. He just had a really bad year. Uh, one of his best friends had completed suicide. Whiting doesn't consider himself a hero. Slowly, slowly. But anything could have happened okay. that January night. And because of this officer's actions, yeah. another man is still alive. I don't think I did anything special. Um, uh, I do have a general love and care for people. Um, I really believe in the ideal of uh, the job and the shield and protecting people. In Idaho Falls, Nate Eaton, eastidahonews.com.